Yo, 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 it's your boy Blue, and I'm back with another video. And man, listen to the people. This a dude channel named Altcoin Daily on um, YouTube, y'all. The man got 1.48 million followers. And they lying. Everybody lying. Everybody believing a lie. Let me roll the footage. All the corporate money being pumped into this year's election is coming from the crypto industry, according to a new report from the nonprofit watchdog group Public Citizen. This is insane. New data has just come out showing that the crypto industry is outspending big oil, the big banks, and the Coke brothers. How can crypto do that? <laughs> Make that make sense, y'all. How can crypto do that and it's a small percentage of people dealing with crypto but the whole world is dealing with oil banks and the cost brothers? Why are these folks lying? Moving right along. There's pumping money into this year's election. This is on both sides. And these are from companies you've heard of. Now, the sector, which has been under high scrutiny by the Biden administration, is outspending big oil and banks this cycle with Coke Industries in a distant second place in terms of corporate contributions. Heavyweights like Coinbase, Ripple, and VC firm Andreessen Horowitz, which has a sizable crypto book, have collectively given more than $146 million with the goal of trying to get candidates who are friendly to the industry into office. Now, most of that corporate money being raised is going to the popular and bipartisan pro-crypto super PAC called Fairshake, which is one of the top spending PACs this year. I spoke to their team last night to get the latest numbers on the four largest donors to Fairshake and its associated PACs. Coinbase has contributed $49 million, A16Z and Ripple have both given $47 million each, and Jump Crypto put in $15 million. And keep in mind, this money is not just going to one side and not the other. Probably a little more has been donated to Trump from the crypto community. But this is not just for presidential candidates, it's for senators, it's for congressmen, and this is going to both sides. Listen, honey, this stupid dude talking my it probably went to both sides from crypto. Oh my God. Why are you sitting up here making fool out of folk, man? You, listen, y'all, he got a, you probably say, I saw another guy kind of look like, dude got a twin, man. And they sitting up here making a fool out of y'all on YouTube. Stop listening to these folk, man. You ain't got to listen to me. You hear me? Well, I just thought I'd help you out. Because these folks is jippy, y'all, man. Now, as for where all that money is going, a filing with the Federal Election Commission this week showed that in July, Fairshake dispersed almost $75 million and still has nearly $120 million left to deploy with 73 days to go until the November election. The Super PAC has pledged $25 million from that pool of cash to 18 House candidates in the general election to be split among nine Democrats. And I know you're probably thinking, how can these folk be fool enough if he's showing us the news, people, that's the whole scam. The news <laughs> is fake. Why are you doing that? When, listen, whenever you got anything that's scripted, it being act out, that means it is fake, people. And how I know exactly, directly, specifically, technically, and basically that this stuff is fake is because I'm dealing with it. I'm experiencing it. And I'm seeing how fake it can be. And I'm seeing how real it can be. And when I say fake, I mean... Y'all got people putting money in this stuff, not knowing how to read a chart, because that's all you got to do, people, is whatever you put your money in, just learn how to read charts. And you can put money anywhere after you learn how to read a chart. But they not going to tell y'all how to read a chart. They'll just come up here and tell y'all some news 
and say, Hey guys, let's go look at an inflow chart. An uh, inflow chart? What they got doing anything? <laughs> we looking at the coin, man. <laughs> See, that how they fool you. They take y'all all around the world, and then they bring you back to the same spot. And then, because they do it so, they have got so many videos and stuff. They do it so much to where you won't know they taking you around the world. You think you're going to a new spot, to a new place. But you open your eyes and look up. You ain't even left nowhere. And this how these YouTube influencers, how this man, the Alcorn Daily dude, that how he doing, y'all. But if y'all want to be fooled like that, people, go ahead. It's a couple more people out there. They'll tell you a little bit truth just to bait you in. The truth is to bait you in, see. It's just like when you go fishing. That's what a bait is. It's, it's something to eat true enough. But it ain't going to let you hit it. You can put your mouth on it. You know, let the fish put his mouth on it. Snatch them up by the water, take them off of it. Ugh. Put the bait back on there, throw it back in the water. That's what they doing with y'all, man. But, like I say, if y'all like it, keep going. But, I'm here to tell y'all, man, these folk is fooling y'all. And they happy about it. Because you know why I say they happy about it? Because they, they ain't told y'all. Y'all think these folk be making these videos every day like this. And not knowing that they making a fool out of y'all. Because they see y'all steady coming back and asking them questions about what coin I need to get. How much I need to put in. When I need to get out. They see y'all ain't comprehending. So get what? They make a fool out of y'all. Tell y'all go put some money in this coin. And they just win off of it. They bank off of it. Every time. So. Stop letting these folks make a fool out of y'all people. It's your boy Blue man. I'm out.